Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny, I am the Tie Guy, this is my YouTube channel and I'm showing you every single way of tying a necktie and of course ascots, cravats and all sorts of other good things to add to your repertoire and if you like that kind of thing, if you're looking for that, then please subscribe this time I'm going to show you how to tie the ascot or a cravat into the barrel knot. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you need is a vest. It'll cover up the short ends of your ascot because once it's tied it only comes uh, about mid chest. The se second thing that you'll need is a, either a tie pin or a tie tack. So I have a tie tack so I'm going to show you how to put that on right now. Proceeding with the tie tack, here it is. It's got a bar, a chain, a butterfly clutch, and then a decorative front to it. So you will because I'm wearing a vest and an ascot is quite short, by the time I tie it up, it's going to be sort of centered around here. So I want to insert this tiny little bar at the end of the chain through the buttonhole that is here for my button, through the front, like so. And once it's through, I can rebutton this button. And for now, I'm going to let that hang there. So now we're on our barrel knot for our ascot. Taking both ends, we can take, they're going to be about the same length. One is going to be, let's say this one's going to be a little longer, three inches longer than this one. So it's going to cross over top and you're going to just feed it up through the back of your knot and down through and across like so. You cinch it up. This front part here, I want it to be nice and smooth. At this point, I'm going to take the little end, I'm going to create a, an S, like you would do it in the front of a bow tie. And I want it to be in behind, so that S is right there. As you can see, so I'm crossing that over. Now I'm going to reach down into this part of the hole, and I want to pull up the long end through there. And I want to slowly and not make a tight knot, make a loose knot here where now you have your barrel so you can adjust that, play with that until you like it, if you like it smoother or you like it bunched up a little bit but the idea is not to tie it tight and then sh revealing the knot, you want the knot completely covered in the back so now you have each end on the either side of that knot you can cross them over to the middle and this is where our tie tack is going to come into play so once we've positioned this we're going to sort of bring each piece into the middle sort of select where I could feel my tie tack in behind my ascot so that's pretty much where I'm going to pin it through so at this point I can take my decorative front detach it from my butterfly clutch and where my fingers are that's where my clasp was now I can poke this tie tack it has a bit of a sharp post on it great alright now that I've dropped my tie tack uh, I still know where uh, the middle of where my ascot is now I can poke those through Once that's done, you got your sharp end here, you can attach it back to the clutch. You can adjust your knot a little bit, but now keep in mind that tie tack is keeping your ascot in one place. So now you can proceed to do up your vest. So that's how you do the barrel knot for the ascot or cravat. I hope you like that. Uh, if you want to check out more stuff on my channel, I've got all sorts of ways of tying neckties, folding pocket squares, and other ways of tying ascots and cravats, bow ties, everything like that. Thank you so much for watching.